Hi everyone, welcome back to PMOD Monthly. This is our episode for June 2016. Um, Caitlin has created a life-size claw machine demo that we're gonna show you guys today. It's a lot of fun. It uses three different PMODs, which she will talk about in detail. Um, you actually see four here on the table in front of me, and that's because not only are we gonna talk about a project this month, but you also get a sneak peek um, of a new product coming out, and that's the new joystick. So right here I have the joystick two and the joystick one. Uh, this one's gonna be on sale in a couple of weeks. We've made some upgrades to the joystick, which is this cool trigger button now. Um, it's a little bit nicer form factor, you can see. Um, it's got a really cool limiter on it too. And the best, um, best part about it is that it's a drop-in replacement for the joystick one. So whichever one you're using, if you want to upgrade to the joystick two, you can just swap it out. Um, and with that, I'm going to turn it over to Caitlin to talk about her project. Do not forget, at the end of the video, we're going to give a promo code to get either um, any one of these PMONs or all of them together for 30% off. So stay tuned to get that discount code at the end. Everyone who's been a kid has experienced the frustration of saving up all their allowance to go play the claw game at the grocery store. It seems like no matter how close you get to it, you can never get the toy you want. Well, I wanted to bring this frustration to makers and EC enthusiasts everywhere. I'm building a two foot by two foot replica of the classic claw game. The brain is going to be the basis three and it uses the PMOD CON 3, the PMOD STEP and the PMOD joystick 2. The Basis 3 is an FPGA board, so this isn't a microcontroller project like past PMOD monthly episodes. The PMOD CON 3 is one of our motor controller PMODs intended for use with servo motors. It allows for the use of four servo motors attached to one PMOD port with external power. The FPGA outputs the PWM signals that define the position of the servo, and the PMOD CON 3 outputs those signals at the required power level for the project. When I press this button, the PMOD CON3 will send the correct PWM signal to the servo on the back of this claw. That will open the claw. The PMOD STEP is another motor controller PMOD used to drive stepper motors. Although only pins 7 through 10 are used to drive logic signals, a full 2x6 header is present so that enough current can be drawn from the two VCC pins. Alternatively, you can also provide external power. The logic signals are also sent to the LEDs for debugging purposes. In the claw game, I send four alternating square waves to the stepper motor. If you change the order of the square waves, you change the direction of the stepper motor. The PMOD joystick is a user input PMOD using the SPI protocol. It has one button, one LED, and one joystick. In the claw game, I use the joystick to determine the direction of each of the stepper motors. The raw joystick data is converted to right, left, up, and down. For example, the X data sends a value between 0 and 1032. If that value is between 700 and 1032, I call that right. When I move it right and left, these indicator LEDs are being lit up. So this PMOD step is controlling the right and left stepper motor. When I move it forward and back, you can see that these indicator LEDs are being lit up, meaning that this PMOD step is controlling the forward and back stepper motors. The instructables and code are written in a modular fashion. This way, it's almost as easy to use these PMODs with an FPGA as it is with a microcontroller. If you want to use a servo, send it an angle, and it will move to that angle. If you want to use a stepper motor, send it a direction and speed, and it will move in that direction at that speed. If you want to use a joystick, connect the X direction signals and the Y direction signals to your project. Using my code, all of the conversion and signal creation is done for you. All right, thanks, Caitlin. Um, as she mentioned, she's got a whole series of instructables that detail everything about this project from how she designed the acrylic casing to using an analog discovery to debug. Uh, she includes all the code and step-by-step -step instructions. So I really encourage you to check the links below the video uh, for the link to her um, instructables collection. As promised, the code for this month is PMOD monthly June 16. And again, you can get 30% off um, any one of the PMODs or all of them together. Uh, thanks for watching, and please remember to subscribe to stay up to date with Digilance products and services. See you next month. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Darn it. Did that go all the way around? 